Let me guess. The Absolute is the only way. Don't bother. Why don't you and Zevlor take a long walk off a short cliff? Listen, your brother Roland is alive. He's in Last Leiden, and I came here to let you out. Your conversation has been cut short. These prisoners are for Disciple Balthazar's attention only. I have permission from Balthazar. Ask him. Your association with Disciple Balthazar inspires respect and a touch of fear. You are free to speak to the prisoners. You want to help? The gnomes couple cells down are up to something, and we're in. What are the gnomes planning? I can't read bloody minds! Go on! Before someone sees! You ordered that guard about as if you were the Absolute herself. What do you want with us, exactly? I'm here to help you escape. Huh. And why would you be so inclined? Barkus told me you were here and asked me to help. Barkus is out here? Mm, didn't think he had the stones. Well, if he sent you, you're no slave to the Absolute. You're a damn wolf among sheep, aren't you? <laughs> I reckon you and I were meant to meet. I'm Wilburn. I'm Sheen. Pleasure to meet you. We've got a plan. For us and the tieflings both. But we're scuppered without the right equipment. We need tools. That head case of a warden robbed ours. But anything that breaks rock will do. Even if it's not iron hand quality. Whatever you find, throw it through the bars. But for the love of Gerdor, make sure a guard doesn't see you. Or we're both done for. Your feet fly fast, my friend. Any luck with those tools? Yes, I found some. Good work. We're gonna wait until it's quiet and then bust out the back wall. We'll grab the tieflings along the way. We'll need them if it comes to a fight. You, however, are the clincher. Once we move, keep the patrols busy. If the bastards spot us, all of bloody Moonrise will come down on us. It's time. Let's do this. We'll move once it's quiet. Until then, be ready. You remind me a little of the Warden. Such gravitas.
to go. All that's left is to ship off. My plan for now is to hide out on the water. Unless you have a better idea. Look to the east for the last light in. You'll be welcome there. Something survived in this hellscape. You should have led with that. See you there. General Thorm's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, Disciples Rel? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No, better yet. Show me. Her mind enters yours abruptly, flickering across your memories in a blaze of excitement. A pool of warmth spreads through your mind as she settles on the memory of you commanding the goblins to die. Oh, I like you. That was inventive and efficient. And enjoyable. Got any more minions to punish? Plenty. But I hope someone of your talents would be more ambitious. You came here to answer the Absolute's call. Let's see what you're made of. She parts the folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate. But there is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith. Shit. I need to overwhelm my thoughts with something else. Think of Shadowheart. Her laugh, her witty personality, her hair, her eyes, her lips, her smile. You took pity on one of Shah's sorry little followers. Or was it genuine affection? Let's take a closer look. With the Absolute, your fantasies can become more real than flesh. The pleasures of the mind can surpass those of the body. I have already been blessed to stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. Show me the power she gave you. Hmm, why not? What's the point in power if you don't get to have a little fun every now and again? She gave me the power to cut the thread of life with a thought. But I can caress as well as cut. That's why you should stay on my good side. And the best way to do that is to serve General Thorn. I have a mission for you. That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the General, the closer you'll be to the answers you seek. I live to serve. What do I need to do? There is a relic that General Thorm requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. The relic is beneath the Thorm family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. But we have lost contact with him. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can. And bring the relic home. You said you lost contact. What do you mean? And I accompanied him. It was destroyed shortly after he left Moonrise. Hardly a surprise. We're protected here, but outside the shadows are hungry. What if Balthazar is dead? Death would not silence Balthazar for long. But dead or alive, he is lost. Whatever has become of him, it is the relic that matters. Understood. I'm ready to head out. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep and hungry. You'll need a moon lantern to survive them. Take one from Balthazar's chambers. But don't pry. The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. 
I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. It is not your time yet, blessed one. The rooftop chapel is reserved for the general's private contemplation, save for those he chooses to ascend. This must be the place. We have to get inside. And how is one chosen to ascend? I'm sure you have done a great many things to get this far, true soul. But above, you will stand in her very presence. Such an honor requires more. The Disciples' Rel has given you a chance to earn that honor. The tower doesn't stink like an overstuffed cemetery, which means Balthazar hasn't returned. So why are you here instead of out there looking for him? I had a few more questions about the mission. Oh, good. I love answering questions. Balthazar was looking for a relic. What is it? It is something that General Thorm desires, and that he has ordered us to retrieve. That is all you need to know. She's suddenly nervous, on edge. Talking about the relic makes her anxious. You don't like talking about the relic. Why is that? I am in awe of the power the relic must hold to be of such importance. General Thorne will not leave Moonrise without it. The relic is vital to Catrick's plans. You should be giving me more support. Fine. Talk to the bugbear quartermaster. Tell him he's to share my secret stash with you. You seek arms. I seek a warrior worthy to bear them. Sorel said you're to share her private stash with me. Took a liking to you, did she? Watch yourself. She breaks her toys once she's done with them. Well, hello. What can I do for you? I met Raphael. I know you were looking for you him. Did. God damn it! I wanted to be there. I wanted to make a deal. <sighs> All right. So. What did the old devil have to say? He wants us to kill something, an old enemy of his. Uh, well, I do like killing. Perhaps if we help him, I can still salvage something from this. He would owe us after all. Yes. Yes, this might work. Now we just need to get on his good side. Please understand, this is important. I need to ask Raphael about some scars Cazador left on my back. He carved them into my back over one long night, saying it was a poem. But it's more than that, I'm sure. Whatever he wrote, he wrote it in Infernal. And if anyone can reveal infernal secrets, Raphael can. That's why we have to do as he asks. Good evening. I'm here on behalf of Gale of Waterdeep. He wishes to extend you an invitation for a private conversation in a more suitable locale. On behalf of Gale? You're not Gale? You are speaking to a mere projection of Gale. His appearance, his voice, and a certain measure of his personality, reconstituted in this case to play as emissary and usher. Would you care to join him? What little I could glean from the portion of his mind that is open to me, it is a matter most urgent. Very well. Show me the way. Gladly. Simply follow yonder path, and soon you will find him.
I love this time of night. There's an almost reverent silence that accompanies the peak of darkness, when you'd almost believe the dawn will never break. The cradle of eternity. The timelessness of lovers. That most beautiful of fantasies. It's breathtaking, Gale. Is this starry sky you're doing? Indeed. The curse is still present, of course. Just veiled and at arm's length for now. Not a trick I can repeat often, but tonight... Tonight is different. This may be my last night alive. I wanted it to be under a canopy of beauty and wonder. I thought this place might bring me peace. I thought it might make the weight of what I must do feel a little lighter. But I'm not so sure. Is this truly what you want, to die for the promise of Mistress Forgiveness? Babe or crone, coward or hero, death is assured. Mistress Forgiveness is not. If you knew the end was near, would you not want to ensure it had meaning? I am terrified. I will not claim otherwise. My face could scarcely conceal it, even if my words sought to deny it. There is no point in running from the inevitable. Better to meet it on my own terms. Nothing is inevitable. Not when we face it together. You don't have to die. Yes, but there is so much to live for and so few moments in which to house it all. Damn you. Damn you for giving me so much to care about. Our friends, our adventures. <sighs> this would have been so much easier if it was just me, but it isn't. If there is a way, any way, to save all that's grown dear to me, I want to cease it. I just cannot fathom what that might be, other than to fail Mistra and condemn the world. Stay with me, will you? I don't want to think of it anymore, but I don't want to be alone, either. Of course. visit from our impish friend Raphael last night. He wanted to <laughs> talk about my scars. Or rather, he wanted to dangle the promise of talking about my scars in front of me. If we kill that monster of his. The we'll kill it. Excellent. I knew you wouldn't balk at a challenge. And now all that's left to do is... We'll find this damn thing and kill it. Are you really going to trust that devil to keep his word if we kill this Orthon? I'd trust a devil over a vampire any day. I think he likes us. It's your only lead, I suppose. This is the first chance I've had to decipher my scars. Be a dear. Don't get in my way. I was hoping to speak to you, as a matter of fact. About the night you were kind enough to keep this melancholy wizard company. Go on. I wanted to... to thank you. I was sinking into a dark place. But you reminded me there is still light in the world, if I should care to look for it. You... You may well have prevented me from doing something very rash in the near future. I count myself lucky to call you a friend. The feeling is mutual. I'm glad to hear it. 
And I intend to prove myself worthy of the sentiment. The dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. What have you got there? Scratch? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. and mean but she looks after us so stock up all right because you need all the help you can get to bring her home you're here you're all right how we're two tiefling queens remember i couldn't leave my favorite bard without her partner in crime i did have some help from an old friend though <laughs> how did you do it I was in Moonrise, and I just happened to run into her. Don't play coy. You could have left us behind, but you didn't. You should have seen her. She was brave, but also terrifying. In a good way. Oh, I never thought I'd see... Well, anyone again. Thank you. A thousand times, thank you. One last favor. Take this off my hands. It suits you better. Ketherick's lackeys found me already. Blast it all! You need to deal with him. Roland said to sit tight, but what's taking so long? I hope he's all right. Of course Ronan went looking for us. If you see him, send his ass back here and fast. The shadows haven't consumed you. Good. I saw Catrick. He regenerated before my eyes. Gruesome, isn't it? I'm glad you survived the encounter, at least. Did you learn anything more? Catrick is calling himself a Chosen of the Absolute now. Chosen? Oh, that's three masters Catrick has served. Our paladin isn't very picky. He's aligned himself with mind flares. But I cannot see what he gained. Perhaps we can force it out of him once we have him up against a wall. Was there anything else? Not yet. Parts of the towers aren't open to me yet. The great general is paranoid. Good. That means he's protecting something. I'll wager it's the source of his invulnerability. He'd protect that at any cost. Was there any the droid? Ah, there you are. Everyone seems to be quite a flutter. Do you know why? Haven't you heard? I freed the people being held in Moonrise Towers. You... you did? But, but that means... Wolverine! <gasps> Wolverine! Oh, where is he? I heard you might be about. How the devil did you get stuck here, Barkas? 
<laughs> I, I'm not stuck. I came to find you, of course. Why would you do a foolish thing like that? Really, Barkus? <laughs> Unfortunately for me, you're my friend. Rescuing you from mortal peril is my right. Oh, but you didn't rescue me, did you? I rescued myself with the aid of this helper. Ah, it's you. I should have guessed. Thank you very much for your help finding Walbrin. You don't belong here, Barkus. As soon as the way is clear, pack up and head to Baldur's Gate. But... W Walbrin... The rune powder... We need to discuss what you're going to... I said go home! You don't know what Barkus has gone for to find you. Please, th that isn't necessary. Indeed. Neither of you has any clue what's at stake. And, and why should you? It's Iron Hand Gnome business. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a great deal to do. Well, there we have it. Walbrin is safe and sound. Thanks to you. I owe you a great deal. The brilliant retort, for starters. Here you are, as promised. I give you... The brilliant retort. Now, I believe our business is well and truly concluded. You don't owe me, Barkus. If anything, Wolbrin does. One and the same. You really care about him, don't you? Uh, well, once you're used to someone, you're used to them. What will you do now, Barkus? Well... <laughs> Perhaps Wolbrin is right. Perhaps I ought to return to Boulder's Gate. That'll have to wait. It's lethal out there. Oh, that's all right. I'm a patient fellow. I'm, I'm sure you'll clear a path for everyone soon enough. You did well to help those people escape Ketherick. Every soul saved is a blessing, and you're raining them upon us. I saw Catrick at Moonrise Towers. He was presiding over a trial. Almost laughable that he sees himself fit to judge anyone. Did you learn anything about how we might defeat him? Not yet, but I think I'm on the right track. That's fantastic. Well done. I'm glad you've made progress protecting this inn. Well, it takes it out of you. I'll hold out as long as I can. By the sound of things, we'll have a more permanent solution soon. I'm so glad you're on our side. I still have a few questions. Go on, then. This curse seems incredibly powerful. What more can you tell me about it? It belongs to the goddess Shah. According to the Harpers, it fell here when they defeated Kerthric. The one who tried to have me kidnapped. I suppose they didn't defeat him quite hard enough. How did you come to this place? Right place, right time. When a cleric of Saluna stumbles into a Sharan shadow, she's bound to set it to rights. At any cost. I don't know much about you. Care to fill in the blanks? I could say the same. But perhaps we should save the trivia, till we're on the other side of this thing. Promise not to die and we'll celebrate with our life stories. I'm not overly familiar with Saloon and Shar. Could you enlighten me? Moon and shadow, light and dark, divine sisters ever at war. And this place has become one more battlefield. Sometimes life forces us to choose sides. Luckily, sometimes the choice is obvious. <laughs> 